how are you all today i am going to show you a very beautiful plant right here you can see this one what is this plant you all might have seen this right this is called as picture plant what is interesting about this plant is that this plant lives in a condition where nitrogen is not present in adequate amount okay nitrogen is present in very less amount for that this plant it kills insects okay it traps insects and it kills them why to take the nitrogen present in them okay so why this plant requires this much nitrogen what do you need so for that you should know that nitrogen is present in protein right and uh, uh, how can you understand this protein is very important for us as well so like that protein is very important for these plants also right what you have to understand that we all need protein as our uh, one of the important source in our diet okay like that in plants also protein is required protein it requires nitrogen and that is why it is killing the insects okay so what happens see these things these small tiny things here you can see the big one okay this is the picture and on the name of this it is called as a picture plant what happens that this, this picture is like a vessel okay what happens here that if the insect comes nearby this rim area is very slippery okay so the insect if it sits here or it is uh, moving around this rim part it will uh, you can say fall in the pit okay and in the pit there are many enzymes which will digest the insect so that is how this plant is going to get the uh, nitrogen which is present in the body of insect right now how these pictures they have uh, developed so for this you should understand that this picture is a leaf okay so now your mind must be thinking that what this is a leaf yes this is a leaf actually normally if i uh, show you you can see the normal plant in this what i call a leaf will be this structure okay if i uh, start talking about leaf so you will understand that leaf has uh, three basic parts okay this part from which this leaf is attached to the main stem is called leaf base okay and then this long part which connects the leaf base to this broad part which is called as leaf lamina is called petiole right so what all three things i have told you leaf base with which this entire leaf is connected to the main stem this long slender part which is a stalk of a leaf you can say it is petiole and this broad part which you often call leaf it is one of the part of the leaf which is leaf lamina okay so these three parts have been modified right and the modifications are like that see if you in this picture you can see very beautiful see this lid of the picture right this is actually the apex of this leaf okay this is the apex okay this apex is this apex is modified into this lid right after that you can see this leaf lamina this broad part okay this is this uh, appeared like this and it made a picture this entire picture which you can observe here is nothing but this leaf lamina and then this leaf lamina is connected to the main stem with the petiole right so the petiole here you can see it is this tendril okay with which these pictures are hanging after that i told you about leaf base which is the portion with which petiole is connected to the main leaf okay you cannot really observe it okay that leaf base became like a photosynthetic organ that is your leaf okay so for that uh, now you you must be thinking that why this has happened why this much uh, uh, modifications have occurred so for getting nitrogen this picture is working okay this picture is working for providing nitrogen but what about the food 
Okay, so we keep our plants in sunlight so that photosynthesis can occur and plant can make their food. Okay, and that is only possible because of the green pigment which is present in the leaves. Okay, and leaf is modified into this. So who will make food? Okay, for that this structure, the leaf base has modified into this leaf. Okay, this we cannot call as a true leaf, but in a normal uh, uh, term or because it is doing photosynthesis, you can consider it like. That. Okay, so this was some information about picture plant. If you uh, get a chance to buy this, you can add this plant in your garden. Okay, this is very beautiful plant. All you have to do is provide good amount of water and sunlight to this plant, and it will. Okay, thank you. We'll meet again.